Hey guys, it's Dee. I am back with another estate sale haul. I stopped at three estate sales today and I also stopped at a Goodwill that was kind of close to the estate sales that I went to. I did find some vintage things there and I picked up a couple of tops for myself. So I will show you guys everything. I think this is going to be a couple of videos just because um, I, didn't, I don't want the videos to be too long. So I will get started. So one of the sales I spent, I think, $6. They were having a 25% off. I think it was the third day that they had it. So the first thing I found were the Santa um, Garland. So I'll open it so you guys can see. It's brand new with the tax. It says nine feet long. I have sold some of these paper, gar paper garlands on eBay before and they do pretty well. I don't know if I'll be keeping this or I'll be selling this, but it's adorable. So, and nine feet, that's pretty long. So there's that. Oh, there's two stacks of them. So we have that here. The next thing I found was the Santa, I think he might be, I think he sits maybe on top of a bottle. I'm thinking maybe a wine bottle. Um, he was only 10 cents and I knew he was handmade so I had to pick him up. I found a bag of doll hair. I've never picked up doll hair before, but I have some projects in mind. Like I, I have some vintage spun heads and I thought maybe I could try to make um, some creations. So I thought that the hair would come in handy. So I have this one curly hair, this two-tone hair mini curl. And then we have another curly haired one. This one is original curl. Is there colors on this? Okay, so this one is strawberry, strawberry blonde and this is strawberry and sandy. And then this one looks like this is the package that was opened. Um, so it was originally from Hobby Lobby for $1.79. So this one is, you know, pretty blonde. So we have those. And then I found this adorable doll. Um, it was $5, but like I said, everything was 25% off. So she has like a grass skirt and um, her hair still looks really good. There is a marking. Let's see if we can see that. I can't read what that is. I'm not so, okay, so it says Japan on the bottom, but I thought it said the brand on here. If you guys know what the brand is of this doll, do let me know down below. Um, I've never seen one exactly like this, so I am not familiar with um, the maker for this one. But she was in good condition, so I decided to get her. And then the last thing at the sale is a Santa napkin ring, and it was a dollar. And I just like that um, he was a star shape. So I will most likely craft with this. So that is it for this sale. I will clear this off and bring out the stuff from the other sale. Okay, the next couple of things are all fabric. So there's this one here. It is a tablecloth and it looked like it was almost unused. I think she charged me $4 for this. Um, there is a tag on here. Um, don't know what that is. I don't know. It says Alma Heat maybe? I'm not sure. Anyway, so there was this one and then there was this one that was similar, and I thought that this would be good for um, the square table that I have. So when I put that on, I will be sure to share a picture of that. So there's this one. There is this longer one. Let's see if I can get it in here. Here we go. So there is a mark. That's what it says, China Kangas. I don't know what that means, but here is what it looks like. It is also a tablecloth. Oops, sorry about that. 
So I just liked the print and I thought the color was unique and I thought that maybe I could put it out right away um, for St. Patrick's Day or the spring season. I do have a green themed kitchen. And then the next thing I found was the swim cap. Um, if you guys follow Magpie Ethel on Instagram, she has a huge collection of these and that's who I thought about when I saw these and I just couldn't get over how um, awesome this looks. So I will have to find a way to display this. And let's see. Okay, here are the couple more things that I wanted to show you guys. They were still down in the garage, so I had to run and go grab it. I found this very cool basket and it was only $3. And it's still in pretty good condition. Um, I was thinking I'm gonna use it to display somehow. I just haven't figured out what to do with it yet. So that's that. And then the very cool find at this place was this cool box. Unfortunately, it did not come with the key, so I won't be able to lock it, but I'm thinking I'm just going to use it for storage. And um, I think that's what this person did as well. Actually, you know, I might, if I have a way to replace that, I might be able to get another lock maybe, you think? And find a way to, um, replace it so I could lock it if I needed to but for now it'll just be used for storage and then I found this pill box and I will take it out let's see if I can do it one-handed well I don't think I can but it was just a little pill box and I was I got it so that I can use it in my purse and then there was just like a little plastic gem piece I think and both of those were three dollars so, I mean, we got it for the pillbox and, you know, I guess I could craft with that other piece. So that is it, guys. Let me know down below what you guys liked and if you guys would have picked up some of these items. I will most likely be filming a couple more videos this weekend, so look forward to that. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video and subscribe if you haven't. I really do appreciate it. I will see you in the next video. Bye!